Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Reggae, and welcome to a collab inside of the Battle Cats again. Today we delve into the Betakuma collab, Betakuma, no idea how it is pronounced or what on earth it is, but we've been given a whopping 50 cat food. Betakuma SNS campaign, 1500 actions reward, I didn't know anything about that at all. And look, 2000 actions, 100 cat food, you people have been busy, I knew nothing about this at all, but whatever it is, it's brilliant. And we got a thing. Ne Nekakuma. That's like me on the dance floor. Got stamp rewards. There's loads of stuff in this collab. I mean, already, even if the levels are rubbish, I mean, that's cat food to start off with. Special missions. All of that. I'd like to start off with a bit of housekeeping regarding the previous housekeeping. I'll try and keep this short because I recognise that some people don't like to see that in a video. Thank you for all your positive comments about the way of phrasing things. Thank you to the people who are even putting in like little square brackets whether their comment was ironic or not. Thank you for all the positivity. Just important to remember that a mindset is not something that can be changed as people might say because that, that's really not how it works. Something that we're born with and believe me if I could change my mindset to be less offended by everything I definitely would. Here are the missions then. We've got a forbidden bride thing which I will claim. Evolve Betakuma to level 10. This mission can only be completed during the collab event. Well, let's go and do that right now in the upgrade menu then. Where shall it be? Special cats, I should think. Near the end of it? Not quite. Yeah, there we go. No, that's that's Mechabung. Neko Kuma, inspired by a weirdly cute white bear, has mastered those slick moves. Might knock back black enemies. Well, we had Oda before with his mating freezing powers. Now we got a knockbacker. Let's upgrade him to that level 10. Oh, now he's killer Nekakuma. Oh, they've brought back killer cat look at that that is a classic my most viewed video for some unknown reason is the killer cat one and just like martin he's back embracing its savage instincts it rains rapid fire blows on its enemy might knock back black enemies let's get that all the way to level 30 then it's going to be incredibly cheap upgrade cost we've got plenty of xp from not spending it and there we go a bit more user rank for us for if we ever need it we've actually gone past 8,000 now feeling in in the big League. Here it is then, they got a special coaster, Betakuma X Battle Cats, collab event on now. And actually they look fairly terrifying in that poster, I gotta admit. They are quite unsettling with those facial expressions. Groove Like a Bear is our collaboration stage then. That starts off with weird. A one word titled level. Well, I never, I don't remember that being a regular occurrence. Obviously we've got dark web, but then again, still that's two syllables. One word, one syllable level. I can't actually think of many, if any, other levels that follow that. I mean, that in itself is quite interesting. The countryside and a slightly terrifying <laughs> dancey bear greet us. I assume this first level will be fairly easy. And I wonder, because this is the padlock castle and a bear on top, do we have a chance of getting that? Or have we already got it? I don't think we've already got it, because we got the Neko one. Neko being Japanese for cat. It's like Neko and Nyanko both sort of mean cat, I think. Oh, I mean, we, we got it anyway. Next is Furious. So, keeping with a one word theme, what's gonna be in this one? A bar bar! I, I am so shocked. It's a normal bar bar. The amount of times I've seen ultra bar bars now from farming. <laughs> It's gone. From farming the treasure of Cats of the Cosmos normally, to see a normal one really sort of threw me for a loop. I'm like, there are. There are plain enemy versions of Ultra Bar Bar. What? Funky Neck, something which I am certainly not and only use as a swear word substitute. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I love simple things. So at the moment, this is a wonderful experience. Manic Macho Legs and Jizo destroying everything. We've got two of these terrifying creatures, both destroyed by the waves of Manic Macho Legs. There's another one, but again, that one's dead and I'm really enjoying this so far. I just love cruising through stuff. It, we've, we've done it. That, that is, okay, that, that's not quite as good. We just done the entire thing. And there's not even any star stages to it. That's it, groove like a bear. I, I mean, I would have expected that there's a bit more. Is there gonna be another collaboration stage soon? I can only assume, cause that is a, tiny collab. I feel like having got this unit, the only next logical step is to take him into Growing Strange. My reason for that being that he's an anti-black cat, right? 
I didn't put Bomber in my lineup over the sort of moral panic it created for me when Kobe said about even when he was doing it, you know, a good Battle Cats player, and his bomber stacks would just get completely obliterated by the Razorback in the black level. So I just ignored that. But I mean, now, why not? I've got this anti-black unit. I have no chance of completing Growing Strange normally, so I might as well try it this way. And floating-wise, I've still got Catman and Eevee Unit 00, zero not that I've actually ever completed the floating level. But now we might have a chance at the black level as well, so no need for Cameraman. So, now, we're gonna be doing an Elder Secret and trying whatever comes after it with our uh, what's what's his name it's got a long name killer killer nigga <laughs> sounds like a car starting up right even though i've had a welcome break from growing strange i still know the drill mr angels at the start we let them hit the base for a little bit then bring out jizo probably should have upgraded my work account as well so they go bye byes and then a little bit of ramen and meat shielding, although much later than that should have been, because we need the Jizo killed, and then we can move forward and try out our new and very exciting unit. In fact, I believe if we just let these things be killed here, we can try that now. Let's do that. And look at it! It's it. Oh! Oh no, the poor thing's dead. It's quite spammable though. It's essentially another meat shield. It's the same price as a Razor and Manic Razor. And it does these little punches. I mean, it's behind other stuff, but that looks great. Look at the little thing. That is the sneakiest thing that has ever existed. That is like sneak 101. Is the wave O stuff then? Let's bring out Mega Aphrodite, I think, maybe Hijiri for the zombies in a bit. And bring out our fourth meat shield with it all. Our amazing killer Nekakuma, the not extremely defensive or strong thing. And I just noticed that one walking forward there didn't actually get any hits in at all. But ultimately, right, it, it might work. He's another meat shield. He might make me last longer in certain levels. And he He's worth trying. I think this is the perfect kind of place to test him out, don't you? Right, here's a black enemy then. Can it be knocked back? Well, Paladin did that knock back, so maybe not. Killer Nekakuma still has a way to go, it seems. Walk forward! And no, Mega Aphrodite deals with the Shadow Boxer K. So alas, not this time, it seems. Quite disappointing, but I haven't given hope uh, on my little boy yet. I mean, he is sort of dying very quickly, but then I can get him back very quickly. Now he can sneak up to Berserkor and get some hits in, because he's protected from the waves, right? He can do a little bit of hitting. I mean, look at that. I mean, Berserkor did, to be fair, kill him instantly in that short moment, but... The amount of them that I can get, it doesn't really matter. They're quite cheap. I can get loads of them. It's refreshing how cheap it is, actually. Although we've had cheap units in the past, we've never really got a new unit that is meat shielding price. I think the last thing that we got that was relatively cheap like that was Jiangxi True Form, which was 240. Briefly, by Jiangxi True Form, I don't mean Hey Matt, Ultralan, Pasalan has a True Form. I mean, the true form known as Jiangxi. Hey Matt, K Killer Nekakuma has a second form. Clash of Steel, a level that I believe showed to you in the Growing Strange video. Lucas said about that Paladin, really difficult. I mean, I had Paladin and Catasaurus, and if you'd watched it, you would have known that that didn't end up well at all. Even with two proccing units, it got me absolutely nowhere. And a die. But maybe with our introduction of this fantastic hitty boy against the Metal Doge, it seems to be doing very well. And actually, yeah, think about it, right? Every hit to a metal enemy that isn't a critical hit does one damage. These seem to be doing hits incredibly quickly, right? So my thinking is, if I spam these, they're going to be sort of brute forcing the metal enemies in their own little way. At least for the metal doges, this might actually be quite good. Right, we approach the base and the flood of metal enemies that is to ensue from a pond. What other stuff should I bring with me? Really, probably not much. I think Lucas said about Hajiri and Jizo, so we'll just do that. Spam the cheaper units until we run out of monies, but principally, our little punchy boy, and we'll try and freeze these so that we can get some good critical hits. That was just one Metal Doge Paladin. I'd rather that you did a little bit better than that. Not, no, getting knocked back isn't quite what I had in mind. That is more what I had in mind. A nice, juicy, critical hit. You gotta keep going with that, though. Another juicy, critical hit. Oh my life, are we actually going to succeed with this <laughs> killer neck Kakuma. This is wonderful. And this is what collabs are. Oh no, my triumphant speech is ended. Paladin's dead. I would say it's alright we've got another, but that hangs in the balance of a critical hit like that, which we got. 
Excellent. Upgrade my worker cat a bit more. Another critical hit. Paladin, that is what it is all about. Excellent, my chum. And again, you are absolutely rocking it. Killer Nekakuma and everything else has led to a victory on Clash of Steel. Now, don't tell me I'm not a tutorialist because that is the next growing strange strategy, all right? Oh, heck yeah. I have a feeling, right, that this is going to act a little bit like the Evangelion collab in that things come out after another, and Power Pro in that we have more units. We have joining the fight from Better Kuma under this unit, and it looked like there were more in the poster, so I assume there'll be more levels as time progresses on. This is a weirdly cute bear with some slick moves, might knock back aliens, and now Black Better Kuma, they're all killer cats. Oh, wonderful. Joining the fight from Better Kuma, change colours after training by an assassin's guild might knock back aliens. Well, I tell you what, these are the secret to Grind Strange. You know, I asked Ponos for a fix on it. They've worked in mysterious ways, to say the least. That is to say, still with a certain degree of irony, I'm not actually going back to Growing Strange, but that was an incredibly satisfying achievement. This time then, I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing as before, but with Black Better Kuma, and he's a hoppy boy, not a sneaky boy. It's strange. His body movement looks sort of happy, but he also looks really miserable. And his attacking doesn't seem as fast, so it might be that it won't work that well and we'd need the alien level for him to provide any kind of useful stance and help. But we will try him out nevertheless, and Jizo sort of needs to get bitten and die there. Excellent. Now the stalling can begin once more. I mean, we didn't get the work up that high last time. It worked out fine, but it's a bit touch and go. Always very touch and go with this level, which it shouldn't be for a primary level that leads on to the more difficult ones. But what can you do? Seems as if when you petition for change, you still don't get it. Right. Engage the units. Mag Aphrodite, Hajiri, some other stuff. And of course... Our hoppy boy himself, whose name I've already managed to forget. So this recharge time is a bit longer. This, if I'm not mistaken, is a ramen recharge time. So a little bit longer than most meat shields are and might be better off for it. It seems to last a little bit longer. And actually, when we get up close, I mean, it's hard to see it attack because it dies so quickly. Especially that one who just died completely instantly. I'm just trying to see his attack rate when he's constantly attacking something. So it might have been that he was just doing it very briefly. And yeah, he still attacks really quickly. So I mean, maybe there's still some interesting hope in this for another growing strange carry. Right, we need to freeze all of that. There's a horrendous amount of stuff going on. Paladin, I'd appreciate a critical hit, which we're not going to get. So that's a bit of a meme. Uh, they're, they're sort of all at the base. Cr critical hit. No, okay. Lo and behold, a stalling revolution. I've managed to get worker cat level 6 at the start. Megaphrodite again, and then maybe possibly Catman as well. I never really put him out at the start, but it might be a good idea. Please be in range and just about. Clips the back of their heads, killing all of them. And next we'll have a Catman, and of course our collab unit. And some other stuff as well. There should be a zombie unburrowing somewhere really, really uncomfortable and impractical, which is not great, but that's a zombie thing to do, I guess. Always seems to happen. But Mega Aphrodite beautifully wombo comboing it back into its grave. But there's another one. Of course, there's always another one. We can't have Paladin dying either, because we still haven't got the critical hit that we need. On to your boy Metal One Horn, please. There we go, lovely. Shadow Box of K now not gonna be as effectively dismissed by an anti-alien unit. But Paladin, interestingly, providing the hit that we needed there. Mega Aphrodite clearing them all backwards, and we might be all right this time. Let's bring out Eva 00 for Berserkory. We might actually get through the first stage this time. So he sort of gets his leg out and kicks them repeatedly as his attack animation. Not quite as fast then it looks, at least, as the other unit, but then attack animations are strange. They could either be animated into one long sort of series of what looked like their own attacks like angry delinquent cat but it's still one attack or it could be really fast like hurricane yeah i don't know i mean you will probably know well isn't that a stroke of luck galactic threat has been gifted to us the alien one i believe which means that we can actually use our anti-alien collab unit against it let's go for a yes then can we make this two out of two elder cat fruit seeds no luxury of anything like rover but i believed that Jizo and some meat shielding was enough for a scissoroo just as long as we 
kept the Jizo out of the Scizoroo's range, which should be fine. And, and maybe we could bring our unit along. Maybe that could provide some help. Knockback aliens, I think it was. Let's have a look and see. No such luck there, but we can get another one very quickly. That's the ease of having such a cheap unit. Two Jizos for two Scizoroos. Meat shielding a bit more stretched. And the Jizos suffering for it. We are already in the Stuck somehow. And we barely started. So that hasn't gone that well at all, actually. I think that's a, that's a thumbs down for the other collab unit. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You, oh, hello. Is that a little bit of redemption there? It's difficult, two scissoroos. Things in twos. It's not good. But I need one of you. One of you is fine. Oh, now they're desynced. It's horrible. But we got a knockback. We got a very brief knockback from our unit. And we've killed one of them. Well, maybe this is our moment. Our chance to start anew and succeed. Let's bring out Mega Aphrodite because I believe it's an Elder Sloth. We just need to start as far forward as we can. Can't be luring. We're just probably going to get wrecked out of that. So, Mega Aphrodite moving forward. Meat Shielding moving forward. My collab unit moving forward. Any other stuff I can contribute to the fight? Catman would be useful. He's an anti-alien. Okay, a bit more Meat Shielding then. Mega Aphrodite snipe from behind, milady, and kill them as best you can. And then we'll also get Catman on the scene. Something we desperately need. Go, 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 go. And now, meat shielding a little bit more. Mega Aphrodite scarily close to the front of the battle. Let's keep her back with a little bit of a freeze of those enemies. And we're still in a worrying position. She's been knocked back, okay, but not killed. That is just what we needed. Put her in prime position. Catman, please do some damage to these things. Kill them. Lovely. We might be starting to get into some kind of groove here. Just going to keep meat shielding as best I can. <laughs> And would you believe it, that is two out of two. Incredible. If the drop rewards were actually sensible and justified, I would now have two Elder Cat Fruit to get two True Form Legends with. But as it stands, still a stupid stage. But I mean, today has been incredible. Sometimes in these unscripted videos, because they couldn't possibly be scripted, I can't determine what happens in the game, you get something wonderful occurring. And that is our Better Kuma collab units, both leading us to victories in growing strange of all things. Now I took them into there to take the mech completely and they have come out with astonishing levels of success. The collab is already my favorite. Today has been a good day for Battle Cats. I say that has been a wonderful success and I hope you have shared in the joy of the success. And perhaps if you have, you might wish to subscribe if you'd like to. We're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year and any subscription towards that would be massively appreciated. Of course, always your choice. But I must say, I'm happy with this. A rare moment of happiness. It's been great. So I bid you goodbye and I hope you enjoyed.